listen to this. It's 1968, the year of the hit movie Bullet, starring that king of cool Steve McQueen and one of the most iconic cars in silver screen history, the Ford Mustang GT390 Fastback. Well, the movie itself was all a bit dull, except for one of the most spectacular car chases ever caught on film, which saw McQueen and his Mustang in hot pursuit of a menacing Dodge Charger carrying an evil killer and his wheelman. But that was 50 years ago, and yet still today, we celebrate the Mustang Bullet with the latest and third only version of the car in period Highland Green, of course, just like the original Bullet car. Now, the original car had a monster 6.4 litre V8, but this new version gets the same 5 litre Coyote V8 as in the current GT model. Only in the Bullet, it gets a tad more power, well, 6 kilowatts more, but it also gets more of that lovely noise, courtesy of a brand new adaptive exhaust system and a few other goodies from the Shelby GT350 to make it all very sweet. And just like the 68 car, there are no Ford or Mustang badges on the car. In fact, there are no badges anywhere, except for a rather kitsch badge on the back that simply has no rightful place there whatsoever. Actually, I tell a lie. Hit the unlock button at night, and there's a puddle light that focuses a pony logo on the ground, which strangely I don't mind. And along with that unique green paint, the entire grille is blacked out for an all-round tougher stance and something that makes this car so special. What made the chase scene so riveting was the Mustang's exhaust note. It was intoxicating. And so is this new version. In fact, just kicking it over is a theatrical event in itself. Have a listen to this. Forget the extra power, that's neither here nor there. It's those extra performance bits like the open air induction system and the intake manifold taken straight off the Shelby GT350. That turns this car into the bullet. Even the throttle body is larger than the standard GT version. And trust me, you can feel the difference from the very instant you apply throttle. Response is instantaneous while each and every shift of that exclusive six-speed manual transmission is pure, unadulterated joy, thanks in part to this unique and classic cue ball shifter knob. There's a rev matching function too, which I'm told you can disable. Yes, please. And it's the brakes. Well, they're six-piston Brembos up front. And again, it's the progressive feel you get from them that impresses most. And there's more go-fast kit from Ford's GT Performance Pack, like the Torsen Limited Slip Rear Diff that makes this car feel hooked up, especially when you give it a squirt out of a corner. Magic, it really is. Aussie delivered bullets also get Magna Ride active dampers, which gives it a superb ride handling balance. Another thing that makes this US muscle car so darn livable. Just flip the rocker switch to sport or track, and that firms things up a few notches. I tell you what, that rev matching, it really isn't half bad. I might have to go back on what I said before. Quite like it. But I tell you what, the composure of this car, that's what I'm really surprised about. It feels different to a standard Mustang GT. To me, it feels more sordid, more legitimate. You can really have some genuine fun in this car. It's a proper performance car, a proper muscle car, and I'm just frankly besotted.
thing I like about the steering on the bullet is that it's well weighted, nicely weighted, and it's progressive right from the dead center. And that's what you look for in a car. It could have a little bit more feedback, but I don't mind it at all. I mean, what surprises me most about this car is the level of exhaust note that you get from inside the cabin. It's like nothing I've ever driven. You've really got to wind windows down on a lot of cars to get this sort of oral effect. Here's the thing. You don't need to be blasting around the streets of San Francisco for this car to feel special or for you to feel like Steve McQueen. Just cruising around with the occasional bootfall is enough. I grew up with the Bullet movie and have been besotted with McQueen and his Mustang ever since. So it wouldn't be right if I finally didn't own one of my own. So yeah, I bought one.